well, what a lovely evening for it. I feel a little bit rushed because I've come flying down here in the car and I've just seen over here, I'll turn the camera around, uh, they're catching the thornback rays already. I've seen him take out two, I think. Uh, so I'm uh, quite keen to get started here. You can see it's a beautiful evening for it. Right, let's get set up, get going. pulley panel and I've got a, a circle on the top hook and then that 3 out and a, one of those that's um, a bluey if I just cut that to size and then go I'm just trying to make the bait the right size for the hooks there and then to be honest I've been playing around a little bit with how to hook it tend to go in through the skin if the skin's quite tough. Um, the most important thing is that the hooks sit proud of the bait uh, so if the ray's going to sit on it uh, it's going to sort of self hook itself. The circle hooks are quite good. Um, welcome to receive criticism here for my uh, dodgy <laughs> lashing on. I could only find this cotton elastic. You using the uh, usual setup. I'm only going to go with one rod. Uh, I don't like using two when at night fishing. Um, so hopefully one should be enough today. problem I'm having <laughs> is I'm not wading out, I'm not getting the distance there. I'll try a little bit better on the next cast, let's just get this bait in the water and we'll have another go. Well, it's getting a bit darker now and uh, they're still catching over there. I've just recast so hopefully there's something out there. I'm only just the other side of that where those little waves are. All eyes on the rod tip now. Okay, so it's getting dark. What I'm doing now is I'm uh, just putting another bait on. It's better to prepare, I think, prepare all the baits ready for darkness. It's going to make things a lot easier. So I've managed to find that shearing elastic now. Let's get that bait back in. And we've got a nice juicy one there. I'm going to try and um, wade in go from there try and get a bit more distance on it So the idea is with the next rig we just clip it on.
And I've come out on this little sandbank here. I've had to negotiate myself around this mud, but it's given me an extra 100 yards. Uh, so the bait's well out there now. So we're gonna walk this back to the rod rest. Just gotta be careful where I tread here, because there's big patches of mud. I think this is the way out, so I'm just gonna follow my path back in. <laughs> there we go, safely back. Get this rod rod rest back at, back at this back on the rod rest and that bait's definitely out a lot further now right. it's got a little bit of a light on there I don't think the uh, fish can see the light or at least it doesn't put them off feeding on nights like this you know, that does go up quite a bit but... oh right this is getting to the so we're getting right on low tide now. It's an amazingly calm night. Keep your eyes peeled on that rod tip. I'm keeping the baits uh, in here, just keep all the juices on them so they're ready to go. A bit more of the moving back. You see the uh, see the tides coming in. It's just a case of a meter every few seconds now. Don't want to get cut off by this tide behind me either. There's a couple of uh, lower points there. Right. So, it's really hard. I'm finding it really hard to film fish, albeit with just one rod, but to film to fish and uh, even with just one rod. It's tricky. Right. Theory is we just drag this back now. Casting in the dark is a little bit difficult. Up to my knees in water. Let's give it a go. Just got to go with feel. That felt about right. <laughs> Misty night as well. Spooky. I can hear the turn of a tide here. You do get a little push when it goes from being a uh, ebb to the flood just on low water so we've got the tide coming in now i've got the rod tip nice and high because oh on, let's get that rod tip nice and high because of the little it's so shallow here it's just got the line bumping on that little sandbank otherwise come on must be some fish here they're catching them over the about 100 yards away just nothing for me yet I'll stop looking at the rod tip see very quickly the tide will come in let's walk this all back now the easiest way I've found is just to slacken off on the Let's pick everything up. Amazing how quickly this comes past. So literally 
well, about 30 seconds ago, there's no water there at all. Really worth watching out for. At least I know the bait's going to have some water over the top of it. Probably only about a hundred yards, but that should be all right. It's got a really misty little sea mist coming down. I've been gauging the um, distance I've been casting just by how much line's left on the spool. So I've got a, like a 150 yards of the um, braid. I can't see any of the mono underneath, so I'm not at a massive distance there. To improve that cast I think. This is where the casting practice should pay off because you can do it in a dark then and you know what it feels like. Um, let's give this a go. <sighs> Perfect. Happy with that. Oh Walking back a bit here, it's a lot of drag. Still coming. I'm almost dragging it across a sandbank here. It's just like a dead weight. It's a little kick initially. <laughs>
It's taken ages to get this in. I can't even see yet. A little bit of bump in it. Come on. So, yes. how we handle these oh. beautiful look at that prehistoric beautiful looking thing making funny noises let's get him unhooked I'm gonna flip him over See their jaws there. You can break crabs with that. Probably take your finger off. But he's nicely hooked. You can see where he's hooked. Ah, that's it. Right. So the hook snapped. We've got the hook out. And there he is. It's taken me seven minutes to get that in. Okay, mate. I think we'll put you back. Photo. Uh, we also did a live feed as well of this session. There's a three, I think, uh, different segments you can catch as well. I'll put them in the links. now I'm obviously not up to scratch with the ray fishing and I know there's a lot of people catching a lot more but for me I'm really happy with that and that's off my fish target list for 2019 there you go, there you go. 